welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kayla. How are you doing? If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. So today's video is going to be a laid back, relaxed video. Um, I'm just going to tell y'all why I have been MIA, why I have not been filming or watching your videos or anything like that. So in about the past three weeks, almost four I believe, it's been a very long time. So anyways, so as most of y'all know, um, the ones that follow me on Twitter and my YouTube Facebook page know that my house got destroyed in Hurricane Harvey. So yes, me and my husband have not been in Texas for about, I want to say almost two weeks. We are in Texas now, so, but yeah. And we have not had internet, that's why I have not been watching videos or posting any videos or anything like that. So I'm back now, I have internet, so I've been watching a few videos here and there as I can. Just because I am so pretty busy, we're trying to find a new place, trying to deal with insurance, FEMA, all that stuff. And it is very, very stressful. So, yeah. But, anyways, I just, this is pretty much a video to let y'all know I'm back. But, yeah. So, I guess I'll start with what all happened. And, um, so my area, um, in Texas, it's a little city. Well, the area I live in never floods. We're not in a flood zone. We brought our house when we were 21 years old and they even told us we don't need to get flood insurance. We were 21, young, dumb, trying to save money. So we're like, okay, we're not gonna get flood insurance. Well, yeah, see what happens. No matter if you're in a flood zone or, no, no matter what, if you're not in a flood zone, go ahead and get flood insurance anyways. That's what I was trying to say. So yeah, our neighborhood, we live in a neighborhood with a lot of elderly people. So most of them did not have flood insurance neither and we all stayed behind. Our area was not, um, oh, wasn't needing to evacuate. I'm sorry, I was trying to think of how to say it. We didn't need to evacuate. We weren't under a mandatory evacuation because our area never flooded. Even, I want to say it was like a year, maybe two. Um, I don't know if y'all heard about this or not, uh, depending on where y'all are from. They opened some dams, and um, I'm sure y'all heard, heard about it on the news where Deweyville area and all that flooded. When they opened the dams um, before, well, our area did not flood, and they said if our area did not flood when they opened the dams, we had nothing to worry about. Well, that was a big effing lie, because we got flooded by Harvey, and then they turned around and opened the dams, which caused more water to enter our home. So, yay about that. So, anyways, so enough about that. So, I'll go ahead and tell y'all where we evacuated to and stuff like that. So, um, like I said, we stay behind. Actually, every single person in our neighborhood stayed behind, I believe, except with the exception of maybe two or three people. So, yeah. Um, so, the day that Harvey... I think it actually the we already started getting rain from Harvey for I think we were getting rain for about a day and it was you know our street would fill up and it will go away street would fill up it will go away by the second day the street would start filling up even more but it would go away it would go away and by I want to say two o'clock in the morning I was still up watching YouTube videos my husband was playing online with his friend um, they were playing, I don't know, a video game or something, and um, we kept going outside checking just to make sure, well, our street started flooding and it wasn't draining, and it started coming up the driveway a little bit, but we figured it was fine because everyone saw it does that, but then it goes away. Well, because the rain did not let up at all, the water started rising even more and creeping up the driveway, and it was like maybe a foot away from the garage and I was I already knew and there I'm like the big F word we're gonna get water in our house and so I went in I looked at my husband I was like hey we're about to be screwed we're about to have water in our house and he's like no 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 and by then it was already too late we couldn't leave in the truck because the middle of the street when my husband stood out in the middle of the street, it was all the way up to his chest, and he's about, I want to say, four, three, two, I mean, not four, three, what the heck, five, three, two, five, five. So it was all the way up to his chest. So there's no way that we could get in our, our vehicle and leave. And I couldn't walk 
with him um, in the street or anything like that because the water would have been here. I can swim a little bit, but not enough to save my life or save somebody else's life. I can uh, float on my back like a pro, and I can doggy paddle. That's about it. So, there's no way in heck I could save somebody's life or try to walk in the street or anything like that, especially if the water is that deep. And I'm very short. I'm a very short girl. I am 4'9", 4'10". So, yeah. So, anyways, um, the water started coming into our house. It was just a little bit. I started bawling. I was crying because we liked our house, but we rushed it. Like I said, we were 21. We rushed it. It wasn't our dream home. But it was still our house. We had we started having a few problems with the house, little problems here and there. But it was still our home, and that water was coming in. So we tried to get as some stuff off the ground as we could and put it up higher, so we could at least save some of our stuff. And yeah, so later on, once we tried to get as much as we could up and put it in the attic, um, my husband went to go check on all the elderly couples and neighbors in our neighborhood to make sure they were okay and see if they needed any help and like I said I would have gone with him I wanted to but I wouldn't have been able to swim or do anything especially in that deep of water and I did not want to go and me start panicking and cause problems for my husband and end up causing him to get in, situ in a situation he did not need to be in you know what I mean so he went over there to check on the neighbors and like I said the water was all the way up to his chest and so he didn't get no answers from some of them and some of them he did um so we started kind of worrying about them because they're the sweetest neighbors anyone can ask for there's only one neighbor we do not like and she's an elderly lady um and she does not like us she does not like anybody in our neighborhood she always caused problems and stuff like that but anyways he went to check on the people that we talked to and stuff like that and so he did that he come home our poor dogs were freaking out so bad that whole night they were getting their paws were getting wet they were just getting wet they were scared and so we all got onto a, the guest room bed and put our dogs in there and everything just laid there and we had to wait until morning it was too dark it was, like nobody was out getting people out and everything like that so we kept on we were trying to get at least a couple hours sleep but it wasn't happening we kept getting up checking the water looking outside to see if the neighbors were out there just you know if anybody needed us we could try to help right so yeah we got our guinea pigs um up high on the dining room table so water wouldn't get to them we got our dogs on the bed so water wouldn't get to them and yeah the next morning as soon as the sun come up we try to reach out to the cajun navy but people were sort of posting which is, is aggravating because people start posting fake numbers for you to reach out to people to come rescue like the Cajun Navy and things like that but we finally got a hold of the Cajun Navy it's just they're having to give different numbers and stuff like that to rescue us so by the time the sun come up we're in the house just sitting there we were cold because the water was wet I mean the water was wet the water was cold and stuff like that and we had to keep on walking around and stuff like that so no matter what we cannot get warm and we're trying to keep our dogs warm and things like that. So about 8 o'clock, my husband went back out there. The water started rising up a little bit more. It was still to his chest, but it was a little bit higher. And so he went to go check on people, make sure they were okay. But anyways, um, so my husband heard boats and stuff like that. So he went to go and fire them to let them know that we needed help. And there was people, elderly people in our neighborhood that needed to get out first to get them out and come back and get us and um which i was totally fine with that because at the time the water was only up to my ankles in my in our house and um it started rising up a little bit more where it was getting a little past my ankles but we were fine you know so they could get them out first and um but he was gone for about 45 minutes to an hour i felt like and i just started bawling i was crying I was trying to call his phone his phone was off um he was trying to save his battery and stuff in case of emergency, but he left his phone at home. And then I kept getting calls from these numbers, and I would hang up because I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. I'm trying to get a hold of my husband, you know, stop freaking calling. 
or to find out when he finally got home. I was like, why didn't you text me? Why didn't you call me? You know, let me know you're okay. He's like, I did try to call you. I was like, what are you talking about? So I tried to call you from two different numbers because I left my phone here. I was like, oh, that was you? And he's like, yeah. So that was him calling me, trying to touch base and stuff. He ran into the Cajun Navy, which is this group of people from Louisiana. We're very thankful for um, they were coming into Texas. I'm sure y'all heard about it on the news and stuff and rescuing people and things like that. So uh, they need to help rescue some people out of their home. So my husband stopped and was helping them get people out and he got them to come over to our side of the street, our neighborhood to get help the elderly people out and to get us out and our pets and things like that and other people's pets and stuff. So my husband was helping them do as much as they could and then they come and got us and we had to evacuate um, by boat with our dogs, our guinea pigs and two little suitcases of what clothes we can bring. And so we brought that and elderly people across the street and their dogs, we got them all out and we ended up having to evacuate to Louisiana and it, like the shelter they would have brought us to is a shelter that people were hearing bad things about how they would not accept donations, they would not accept food donations to help feed the people there, they um, like they were very rude and mean to people and so a lot of people were getting evacuated from that shelter to different shelters that would help out more but me and my husband lucked out we got brought to that shelter but I have family that lives in Louisiana and so uh, my cousin and his wife um, he got his wife to come pick us up and they picked us up and we stayed over there at their house and we just switched between their house and my aunt's and uncle's house um, for about a week almost two I believe I may be wrong on the time like all the days and stuff were running together um switching between them and then uh we were away from our house for about like i said a week a week and a half because we couldn't get to our house because of how bad it flooded in that area and so we helped um i mean we stayed home and stuff but on the weekends or stayed over there at their house but on the weekends and whenever um, they were off we would go to my granny's house which is my grandma's house in port author she lost her um she didn't lose her house. She's able to fix her house, but she got water in her house, so we were helping her demo her house. And then my aunt Lisa and Uncle John, they live in Beaumont, and they got six feet of water into their house, so we were helping them demo out their house and clean it out. And then the water finally went down from our house, so we were going to our house to try to clean as much out as we could because we thought we would be able to fix it, but we're not able to fix it. And so, yeah, I started getting sick a little bit because of all the mold and everything. I have really bad allergies, but I still helped them out, and they still helped us out. And, yeah, so that's what's been going on with that. And um, so we finally got to our house, and this was like, I think, two weeks after Hurricane Harvey, or maybe a week and a half or something like that. I don't really remember. And... Um, the front of our house is brick and the brick is buckling out um, which means that the foundation has shifted so yes and the walls that are supposed to be like this are now like this I'll insert a couple of pictures right here I'm not gonna insert a whole bunch but I'll insert like a one picture of how the walls are and then how high the water and stuff got when we were there so yeah so we were able to get a few things out of the attic that we were able to say we were able to say uh, some of my makeup not all but some of it because it was up higher my vanity um, one TV and our pots and pans and like our plates and bowls and things like that and that was it so yeah everything else our bed our couches Dining room table, kitchen table, uh, dining room table, coffee tables, end tables, beds, TVs, 
all that, which is, that's all uh, stuff that we can replace, but it sucks, especially when I'm not working and my husband was out of work for almost three weeks. And what money we did have saved, we had to use on food, on gas, things like that. You know, our dog food, things like that. Um, but this has taught us a lesson. It's taught us to save a lot more money, for sure. So we've been doing that. We've been saving money in case we ever have to evacuate or anything again. It taught us even if we're not in a flood zone, we're getting flood insurance. For sure. And yeah, it just taught us a lot. So yeah. Um, but thanks to my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, we are in a house. It's their old house. Um, they were renting it out and then they decided they were going to sell it. But we're going to get to stay here for a while. We're very thankful to them. We have a roof over our heads. Um, the back of the house uh, over here is like, I want to say it's about, I don't know how much, how high this is. It's about four or five inches above uh, the garage and stuff like that. The garage in this house that we're staying in got water in it. And it got in the two back rooms, uh, but this side of the house is up higher, so we had to tear down um, not all of it, a couple of inches of sheetrock out and the flooring out of there. So they're going to be fixing that up. So we pretty much are staying in like a, because we can't use those two, be two back rooms or anything like that, so we're pretty much staying in like a one bedroom house, I guess you could pretty much say, which is okay. Um... My aunt, she gave us a bed. It's a lot smaller than our bed. We had a king size bed and we couldn't take it. This is a full size bed. So the first couple of nights we, when we first got it, it took us a while to get used to it because we were like pushing each other off the bed a little bit. Not on purpose, just because we were so used to having so much room. But it is better than sleeping on our air mattress because for the first few days, week that we've been in this place, We've been having to sleep on an air mattress, so thank God we got a bed finally. And my granny, who have no, who's having to work on her house and lost quite a bit of stuff, found this right here. It's like a little entertainment thing. Um, this TV right here, our friends letting us borrow until we're able to get us one. She found a little dresser for us to use. Um, my sister let us use a little love seat that she had in storage. And we just went out and brought it like a little futon to use as a couch for now. And so, I mean, hey, we're set. And they already had a, a electric stove and icebox here because they were renting it out. So, it is what it is. We have a roof over our head. We got a bed. Our dogs are safe. Now, as far as my guinea pigs, um, we had to find them a new home when we evacuated into a uh, and saying what family in Louisiana, it was just hard having to carry them around with their cages because we had to keep them separated because they would fight. They were both males, um, and they it's crazy because we brought two of them because we felt bad because they were be you know better if they were into a group um, of guinea pigs and stuff like that if they weren't long so they wouldn't be lonely and things like that. But um, anyway, so we had to carry two big cages around and stuff like that. So I brought them to a pet store, um, I want to say it's Maya's pet store out in Lake Charles, and um, she found a home for them, so they're in a very good home now, so I'm happy about that, because we didn't know where we were going to end up, we didn't know if we are going to end up in an apartment after this house, um, a new house, or living with other people, we weren't sure, so yeah, they're up for adoption, and... Yeah, so we're still waiting to hear on insurance and FEMA. We'll find out next week or the week after that if we're going to get covered for anything or if we're going to have to try to get FEMA more. You know, we've just been dealing with all that stuff. And it's been stressful. And even though we're in this house and we're very thankful for everything that my family has done, I really do have the best family in the world and I have the best mother-in-law and father-in-law in the world. But we're just ready to have our own place, some something that we can call our house, like, you know, but it's just going to take some time. Um, as far as next week goes, um, my mom is going to be in New Mexico uh, with my dad, 
my other grandma and my uncle to take a little vacation but there's a reason why they're doing that and I'm not going to say on camera what's going on with that um but yeah so I will be babysitting my niece and nephew all of next week and so I don't know if I'll be able to get a video up or not because my niece even though my nephew's in school my niece is very like clingy she does not like to be away from me when I have her so I don't know if I'll be able to film or not so there may not be any videos up next week but I will try to if I can film some this weekend I'll do that so I can have a video up it's just we're gonna be busy we've been trying to look at houses and things like that um we're not buying anything right now because like I said we need to wait to see what insurance and all that's going to do and as far as October, we were very excited. We had a whole bunch of videos planned, um, like Halloween makeup videos, Halloween costume videos, going out for Halloween, things like that. We may not be able to do any of that because we're having to save money right now. So we're not going to buy stuff that we don't need, meaning spend money on a whole bunch of makeup or spend money on a whole bunch of Halloween costumes that I'm only going to wear just for a video. You know what I mean? So... Sorry about that. Anyways, who knows, maybe I will end up getting to do a Halloween look here and there. I don't know, I'm 100% sure. And as far as my schedule, usually upload Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. That may be changing up for a while. So, it's just a lot of stuff going on. But I will continue to watch your videos that y'all post and stuff like that. And if next week, if I cannot put a video up, don't worry. I will watch your videos. And as far as your all of y'all's older videos I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to those but I will as I'm cleaning and stuff I will watch those so y'all can get a view on it um, as I'm cleaning but as far as y'all's newer stuff I will be watching and commenting and all that good stuff so yes um, anyways that's what's been going on with me and my life and my husband so yeah um, um, if y'all have any video suggestions on what y'all would like to see next let me know. I do have a collaboration video over a Samara look that I did right before we had to evacuate for the hurricane um, with another girl. She did a jigsaw look. So hopefully I will have that up maybe Friday, fingers crossed. Um, I will talk to her if it's not Friday. It'll be sometime this weekend. And then, like I said, as far as next week, I'm not sure what's going to be going on with that. But anyways, that's it for this video I just want to give y'all an update on what's been going on I hope y'all enjoyed it and pretty soon I will be back with uh, beauty related videos or something but anyways um, that's it for this video I'll talk to y'all later hope y'all have a good day good night wherever you are in the world and thank y'all so much for your patience and thank you for everyone who has texted me uh, reached out to me over social media asking about how me and my husband are doing and praying for us and all that. That really meant the world to us. So yes, thank you all and I'll talk to you later. Bye!